All right, folks, what's up? What's up? Just got back to the house, and I guess where we are now, episode nine of Real Talk with Rodney. So I'm going to tell you all right now, this is going to be short, this is going to be quick, but uh, if you can't handle it right now, if you are not in the mood at this point in time for some real heart-to-heart, -heart, some truth, then you just need to turn off the video and just go, all right, and just come back and watch this later when you're in a better mindset. Because here's the situation. Um, this whole situation with me on this quest, right, on this journey to lose weight and become healthier, live a you know a healthier lifestyle and all that, um, it wasn't that I didn't think I can do it. It's just every time I tried, every time I you know executed something, there was always an obstacle to get in the way, right? So maybe it was an issue of me needing some better direction, some better game planning. And that's what I did. And when I partnered with this person uh, by the name of Ryan Roy, it really set things into motion. And, you know, like you've seen, I've lost almost 14 pounds in 14 days, right? And I, I don't say this to be mean. I don't say this to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't say this to belittle anybody's situation, you know, and every other situation out there. But the bottom line is, if you really want it bad enough, you're going to find a way to make it happen. If you really don't want to do it, you're going to find a way not to make it happen. That's the bottom line, right? People are going to make excuses for whatever reason, right? You know, it's too hard or, um, you know what, well, I just need to get this right. Let me get this taken care of first before I start doing that. Well, I got to go to the doctor and do X, Y, and Z before I can start working out. You know, listen, come on. Let's get real. Let me wait until New Year's and do my resolution. Let's be real. Well, let me just get this straight, you know, because my birthday holidays are coming up and I don't want to have to worry about trying to work out through Thanksgiving and through Christmas and through New Year's. So let me start after that. Come on now. Let's get real. Seriously, if you really want to do it, you do it. That's the bottom line. Because if here, here's the thing. Think about this. Think about this. If you start now, you're going to be, what, two months ahead of the game by the time New Year's comes versus going into New Year's, and now you're just starting from ground zero. You could already be ahead of the game, already ahead of the game. But some people just don't want to do it because they don't want it bad enough, okay? There's not something that's hit them in the head, hit them in the gut, stabbed them in the heart, and said, you know what, you need to get this done now. They haven't had that to come in the Jesus moment, you know? And I was in the same situation. However, I got a wake-up call, and I took action, and I executed it. And because I've executed consistently, I've gotten results. It's that simple. You know, well, you know, look, don't go outside right now, man. You should be going outside because, you know, it's wintertime. You're going to catch it. Look, look, just bundle the frack up. Bundle up. I don't care about these elements. I don't care about this rain. I don't care about this snow. I don't care about this cold weather. I'll be fine. I ain't worried. Chuck, look, I've got insulation. <laughs> I've got You can see it. I've got my insulation. So I'm not worried about it being too cold. But here, here's, the, here's the truth, folks, is that... You know, I say this because I want people to really wake up and stop making excuses for not making, you know, their, their, their goals come to fruition. Whether it's in their health, whether it's in their spiritual life, whether it's in business, whether it's in their relationship with their spouse, whatever the issue is, stop making excuses for not doing it and find reasons to do it. That's it. With that being said, love y'all. Stay blessed. I'll let y'all in the next episode of Real Talk with Rodney. Stay up. Peace.